Hey, any bash, it is the 13th of March, 3.13. And just some interesting things here to just illustrate these, these patterns, this spiritual warfare that manifests itself in all manner of ways. But, you know, we know that the Vatican is basically the beast, but this is interesting here. Um... I saw this article yesterday. The Pope met with the Mormon leader at the Vatican. Okay, and the Latter-day Saints are opening this big new temple in Rome. Okay, just uh, bear with me here. Okay, so the, the Latter-day Saints, the Mormons, are opening this huge temple complex in Rome and they met with the Pope and the Pope accepted them and there's all kinds of crazy things going on here the Pope okay he was uh, he was chosen okay how they choose their popes after the last one uh, retired or resigned or whatever so they had to choose a new Pope and and when they chose Francis it was on the 13th of March 2013 that's when the sulfur came out of the stovepipe okay and I've shown this before but it just came upon me to show it again when they choose the Pope okay there's uh, you know this panel of Cardinals or whatever they are but they do their uh, ritual or whatever in the Sistine Chapel the Sistine Chapel happens to be where the mural called the Final Judgment or the Last Judgment is. Michelangelo, you can look into this if you want. Um, but they choose their Pope before the dragon, before the beast, because that's what that is. That represents basically the world uh, in its reality. Okay, There is a dragon literally painted into that mural and it's quite amazing but this is that spirit that has been here all along but is now it's go time you know what I'm saying so the Pope was chosen on the 13th of March 2013 the new latter day Saint, look at this Fox 13 this is a this is quite a pattern that I'm seeing here the 13s because when the Pope was chosen on 313 13 up until today uh, it's 2191 days six years exactly 72 months exactly 313 weeks okay this is just crazy how I see this stuff but you know the 13s this adds up to 13 and you know all about the Vatican, and at least people should know about the Vatican. I showed you the dragon. The Pope speaks from the serpent's mouth. That's what that is. And I'm led to look up 2191 in the Greek. And, and what do you think it is? I mean, what do you think the chances of that word being literally a viper? <laughs> Poisonous snake. Greek 2191, the exact amount of days that the Pope has been in his popery position. 72 months immediately reminds me of the 72 stars around the apotheosis of Washington, the Oculist Capitol Dome, and the uh, final judgment uh, that I showed you in the Sistine Chapel. That was displayed at the Oculus in New York City in July, June and July of 2017. The Serpent's Eye. Okay? This is just crazy stuff that I see, but it just, it shows the pattern. It shows that underlying spirit, you know? And when you're aware of it, you know, it causes you to have a realization that this is a lot deeper than our carnal minds can really manage. And we need a guide. We need a savior. And Jesus is the only one. I mean, it's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's what I'm meant to do is to tell you that if you don't know Jesus, you need to get to know him very soon. 
And so I'm looking at this situation here with the Latter-day Saints a little bit deeper, right? And this is uh, a little bit interesting as well. Okay, he, he met with the Pope, the, the president of the LDS. And my time out west, I spent many years out west, okay? Oh, look, he's 94 years old, another 13. And uh, I got to know a lot of Mormons, and they were always good to me, good people, but they're very good at keeping secrets. Uh, they have a lot of deep resources, and they are prepping maniacs. They know how to prep, let me tell you. And they are prepped. And President Trump made a personal visit to them soon after he took office to the uh, leadership of the LDS out there in Utah. And they are everywhere. They're not just Utah people. They even have a giant temple complex in Rome now with a big Catholic cross on the front door. So you all know what's happening. But if you don't, and this is all confusing you and scaring you, you need to just get humble. Realize that you don't know and you can't do anything without a savior. And the only Savior there is to this world is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Praise God. So, I'm just sharing this stuff with you because I see it. The 13s are just off the charts, man. 13, 13, 13. This guy is put into office. That's when the, the smoke came from the stovepipe. See, 2191. Viper, poisonous snake, and adder, and all the occurrences that it's used are exactly that. As Jesus telling him, you generation of vipers, <laughs> over and over and over again. Okay, so uh, I think it's us being told, yes, the vipers are preparing to strike. That's what I get out of this. So, be ready. Be in Christ walking in the spirit always and keep looking up praise god peace and grace to y'all any fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 